Are you thinking about, or maybe you're already trying to get your boudoir photography business off the ground so that you can leave your day job with a already booked out photography schedule. But maybe it's just not going as planned. What if I gave you the exact blueprint for starting your boudoir photography business and making a lot of money while you do it? Today, I'm gonna share how to start a boudoir photography business in the most profitable way. I'm gonna give you six tips to start and build up your boudoir photography business so that you can leave your nine to five and start supporting yourself with your dream business as soon as possible. Hey, I'm Tracy. I help boudoir photographers stay forever booked out. Be sure to download my free PDF, which is my five best tips to book out your schedule without Facebook ads. And the first step to starting your boudoir photography business in the most profitable way is just taking care of all that boring business stuff that we all hate doing. So you need to make your business legal with an EIN, the LLC, registering with your county, your city, your state, all the things, getting insurance, and then going to get your actual business bank account. Yes, it needs to be a business bank account, not just a regular bank account. You're not using your personal account for your business. To apply for your EIN, you're just going to go to irs.gov and hit apply online now. I will link this in the description to make it super easy for you. You're also going to need to register with your state, which is different in every state. If you scroll about halfway down here, yep, you'll be able to find your state's requirements for the Secretary of State. So just click wherever your state is and hit select and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, quick clarification. Do you need to be an LLC or can you be a sole proprietor? I'm just gonna say I would go ahead and recommend getting your LLC. And an LLC is a limited liability corporation. So it does exactly what the name says it does. It limits your liability. You also need to register with your city and your county. And that all depends on your location. Everywhere is gonna be different. So make sure you check your local area. Once you're registered as a business, get that business bank account. But also don't forget about your business insurance. And there are a lot of options, but my favorite is the PPA insurance or Professional Photographers of America. I get my insurance through there. I've always gotten it through there. It's pretty cheap and it is exactly what you need as a photographer. And the best part, it's really easy to apply for. If you want a deeper dive into starting your photography business the legal way, make sure you catch episode 38 of my podcast, Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography, where I brought on my special guest, Andrea Sager of The Legalpreneur, and she talks about all the things that you need to do to start your business legally. And the second way to starting your boudoir photography business in the most profitable way is getting your contracts in order. This is a common question with my boudoir photography coaching clients, and I'm just gonna clear it up right now. Let me tell you exactly what forms and contracts I really think you need for your boudoir business to be legal. First of all, you always need a portrait contract or a wedding contract if you shoot weddings. Number two, a model release. This is super important for all photographers, but really, it's really, really important for us boudoir photographers. I mean, we're dealing with some very intimate images that some of our clients are not gonna want to be released to the public. Number three is a payment plan contract. And this is only if you're accepting payment plans, which I really think you should be. Now, I got mine from my QuickBooks account, so if you're using QuickBooks, you should have that. But here's a big tip. You're gonna need to add this to your QuickBooks credit card authorization form. What you wanna add is a second form of payment. And this is just in case the first one declines. Number four, a proof approval form. I started doing this a few years ago. I did end up creating my own though. And it's probably not one that's gonna hold up in court, but it does make my clients check their proofs twice before I order to make sure everything is perfect and it prevents reprints most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. If you need some easy to use contracts for your boudoir photography business or your photography business in general, be sure to check out legalpreneur.com or just click the link in the description. And the third step to starting your boudoir photography business in the most profitable way possible is to set your business foundations. And the most important part of this is to make sure that your pricing is set in a profitable way. But we also need to take into consideration your dream lifestyle. You aren't building this business to work your life away, you know? So I want you to be honest with yourself. How much money do you need to make each month? And how much time do you actually have to work each month or year? When you have those two numbers, this is gonna give you your sales average. And your sales average is what you use to actually build your price list. 
So this is my full-time formula. What's really cool about this thing is it will figure out your sales average goal based on your dream lifestyle. I'm going to run this, run you through this really quickly. So we're only going to do the one year salary and work through just for the one year stuff. So let's say you want to make $50,000 this year. That means you need to bring in 166666 or six hundred and sixty seven dollars. That was hard to say. And let's say you have twenty hours a week or yeah, twenty hours a week to work and you get to work mm, let's say forty eight weeks the year you're taking one month off. That means you have nine hundred and sixty hours for the entire year to work. Most photographers spend about eight hours from the very first contact to delivery of the final product. This is for portrait photographers per client. That's hours per client. So we also need to make sure that we take out admin hours, which is marketing and just like your normal work stuff. So we need to take that out. That's about 320 hours a year or seven hours a week. That means there's 640 hours left for sales. You have your eight hours per client. That means you have time for 80 clients a year or seven clients per month. And that gives you a sales average goal of $2,083. So let's say $2,100. And then you use that sales average number, that sales average goal to build your price list and to plan out your schedule for the year. And then we need to finish up with your business foundations because we're not done yet. We have to set up the entire experience for your clients. And for this, I'm talking start to finish, we need to set up the entire experience. So think about your consult sessions, hair and makeup, the actual session itself, your ordering session, how you're gonna deliver the products. There is a lot that goes into it, so make sure it's all in place. And if you need help with this, Boudoir Studio Accelerator is my DIY course that helps you set up all of this from start to finish in less than a week. The fourth step to starting your boudoir photography business in the most profitable way is automating your schedule. Gone are the days that we need to spend time actually scheduling clients and then, you know, going back and forth between them with emails and phone calls and all the things, making sure that the time is exactly right. We don't need to do that anymore. There are so many calendar software, so why would we not use them? Once you decide which one you want to use, then you need to set it up completely. Now it does take some work up front, but it makes your life so much easier. In Six Figure Simplified, which is my signature group program, we focus on making sure that your entire business is set up completely from start to finish, but in a simplified way, as the name suggests. I have the link in the description if that's something that interests you. And the fifth step to setting up your boudoir photography business in the most profitable way is building your high converting website. Now you have to have clients to have a business, so we need to find them, right? But marketing is a beast itself and can take up so much time. And that's why we need a website that does the work for us. And that's what I call a high converting website. So what a high converting website does is take a lead and turn them into a client as soon as possible. And that brings us to the sixth step in starting a boudoir photography business in the most profitable way, and that is driving traffic to your high converting website. Okay, now you have your website, it's a conversion machine. Without traffic, that doesn't really matter. Without leads coming to that website, it doesn't even matter how converting your website is. So what we need to do is drive traffic to that website. Now I like to separate driving traffic into two different marketing strategies. You have short-term and you have long-term strategies. Short-term marketing strategies are things like bridal fairs, referral programs, and business partnerships. Long-term marketing strategies include things like blogging, SEO, email marketing, even social media. Now, the great thing about short-term strategies, you are gonna get leads as soon as possible, but they're also gonna be coming in for the long-term. So it's like a short-term and a long-term strategy in one, unlike, say, Facebook ads that work immediately and never work again. Like, they're only driving traffic immediately, but they're never gonna be driving traffic forever. So like with bridal fairs, you're getting that email and it then that email will be dropped into your long-term strategy of your email marketing. And so you're gonna be able to drive traffic for the long term with that one strategy. So you see how that can work? Once you have all of your strategies in place, that's when you can step away from your marketing. And that's when you get to enjoy more freedom. You're setting up this business not to work your life away. You're setting this business up for freedom. And go watch my video called How to Get Booked Out as a Beginner Photographer this year 
for more information about booking out your schedule. And now you know step-by-step step how to start a boudoir photography business in a profitable way. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe for my next video, which is on how to pose plus size boudoir photography clients. And while you wait, make sure you check out my other videos, which are how I made 35K in four days as a boudoir photographer, and you can too, and my complete breakdown of my boudoir photography marketing strategy. If this was helpful, make sure you let me know and give it a like. Wayne is too sleepy to get up and say bye, but we'll see you next time.